Good morning. All right, there's the paperwork. Man, if all pickups were this easy. <clears throat> I'll wait for the forklift to come back. Okay, this corner is going to be very hard to get out of because that truck is parked in the way. back up to get in just to make it around the corner but exiting I think I can go behind his trailer there and it should work out yeah pulled in here like five minutes before seven and it's now 704 just pulled in he goes plastic off I'm like yep just goes and grabs one package put it on there and says here's the paperwork that's it I'm like, okay, throw two straps, snap it down, and go. <laughs> Fast load. Did pretty good. Timed it right between the vehicles. Okay, now to Coquitlam. But the part of Coquitlam is pretty far east. I guess the way the road's designed, I would have to. Right now, go through the city and traffic, eh, no. Or take 17 like I'm planning, but then I have to backtrack way back to Port Manbridge. At that point, I might as well just go to Golden Ears, I guess. And Pickups to go. I think. Quintland, three Abbots Ford, and then one Rosedale. Yeah, four more pickups to go.
Portman Bridge. No, 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 no. Oh, I did it again. Um, Alex Frazier. I caught myself this time, though. I was thinking Portman earlier. This is the Alex Frazier Bridge I'm going under. All right. So, April 14th. I already set the time, but it's 7.10. 7 Four degrees Celsius outside. I do see might be vapor trails.
bridge, you exit here, stay here. We're gonna keep going backtracking now, heading west to Pitt Meadows and then after Pitt Meadows to Quitlam. We're barely going to Quitlam. Pitt Meadows, keep left, okay. on Highway 7. Golden Ears, what does that reference to? I know they've got like eagles and stuff on the bridge, but Golden Ears, is that like a corn reference? I didn't think there was corn any, really corn up here, but I could be wrong. Not a long turning light. Big netting across the street there, I'm guessing, is a golf driving course.
is early in the morning, so it makes sense that there's lots of traffic. It's now, what, 7.45, so... sections hidden all over around the Vancouver area. In some farms where you think you're driving in the middle of the city, all of a sudden there's this big cattle farm. I'm like, what? It's zoned as agricultural and it stayed zoned as agricultural. Kingsway 
avenues less traffic because I can't drive this speed and figure out where I have to turn off. Entering Port Coquitlam. Port Coquitlam. Let's see if I can pronounce it right. Abbotsford. Next three stops are Abbotsford. I make that corner? I think so. Trailer's not going to hit his cab. Get a drink of water before we get going. CVSE was hanging out, so let me see if they're still here. Looked like they were pulling people over. Looks like they're gone. Three more to go. 
Oh, speed limit 30, and I am doing 50. At the end of the street, turn left. I didn't see the 30 when I came down this road, but maybe I just missed it. Huntington Road, pretty near the border, right next to Alder Grove. It's kind of clear. Go past the Abbotsford Airport. Gotta go north, just across Highway 1. Let's grab a couple lower gears then. For the steep hill here. Control is going to pick the lower gears a little too late for a steep hill like that. I'm still getting used to everything. I'm getting a lot more used to it. I still have to organize the back, and I can't really do it until I have some new totes. Figure out how to utilize the space the best. Ford International Airport right here in front of us.
now 10.30. Had a little snack, but I'm probably gonna get hungry here soon. We'll see if I can finish loading everything before I eat, or if all of a sudden there's a delay to load in the next hour. You th I, I, hmm. I get all three in? Probably not all three loaded before I need before I need some food. But maybe in two two habits for it. Maybe I'll finish those two and then eat before I pick up the last load. I was thinking about going beside me in the roundabout.
let's hope there's space in their yard. Let's hope that super bee's not going into the same yard. I've gone to this yard several times and sometimes it can be awfully tight. Not as tight as uh, Uvic, but... That's officially the newest, tight, tightest yard I've ever been in. coming up beside me, it's like, hey, I'm singling. Forty-six. Definitely time for food. You know what? They have a little pullout at the end of their drive. Let's pull out there, and we're gonna eat there. One, two, three, four, five pickups done. One to go. Everything says better transport, but uh, a company I picked up from rents a space from better. Nice people, really quick service. called Nelson, Nelson something or other. I think Nelson Industries. Oh, Turn right on fire road. that's where I was going to park, where those bikes are. Hmm. 
Maybe I can still park there. train here when I was coming in so I just bypassed this road and went right down to the border and took that road and luckily there was no train there the reason why I bypassed is because the road was completely full of vehicles and if I stopped I'd actually be locking or blocking the main road say so, nope let's try the other way if I'm blocking the road at least I'm blocking the road further down the road if the trains down there as well So be it. Not block driveway. Too late. Well, I'm not quite blocking it. It would be blocked for big rigs, but not for any other vehicles. other side of the rails. Both sets. I 
I see no sign of train movement, so that's good. What's going on ahead of us here? I love the sign that says no stopping between tracks and those cars both stop between the tracks. There's a third track back there, but that one looks like it is unused, so I'm going to go for it. Yeah, it's completely unused. They put a gravel driveway over, over it in the beside the road. So Looks like they're having some kind of recycling thing. Everybody's coming in with their recycling stuff. Turn left and blocking the driveway. the driveway for this company. Unbelievable. I was going to let them in, but someone else has done that for them already, so that's cool. <laughs> nice when people do that for you. undercover cop there so let's kind of wondering if he's going to do something about the traffic jam because they're definitely impeding traffic by parking on the road like this understand why that person is not going. Oh, maybe because the gridlock on the other side. Okay, let's get out of here. Fuel, we'll fuel up after we get this load. We'll probably fuel up at home or something like that. Last time I fueled up was in Grand Forks. That was on Monday, I guess. Notice the uh, jake brakes kick on in low gear. My Peterbilt didn't do that.
degrees Celsius outside. Yeah, it's a good day to be out with riding a bike, that's for sure. on the bridge so no problem making the corner. Farm roads. 
start refurbishing trailers. If uh, our shop gets too busy, we hire places like this to refurbish our trailers. This is going to be a tight corner. Ah, shoot. Car coming. Problem with a blind corner like that, you can't see a car coming until it's already too late. Narrow bridge, so we're going to go on the shoulder so we get the trailer nice and straight behind us before hitting the bridge. That way the trailer doesn't cross the line on the bridge. Uh, 50 ahead, well, I was doing 55. Driving what was comfortable. Yeah, we've definitely been here before. I'll turn the radio off. Rosedale Traditional Community School. Does that mean it's a private school? Or is traditional the name of the school? Lots of Mennonites in this area, so... My people.
Definitely needed all of that. Chipping and receiving this way. Chipping and receiving here, gate three, okay. Remember being on the back, I think. wants to turn this way. I'm gonna need the full lane again. The big rig wants to turn the opposite way. So I have to wait for the big rig to go. Once he thinks he can go. coordinated very well coordinated it's nice when people realize what you're attempting to do and go we'll leave, we'll leave you room for that there's a train blowing by this road goes over that train track is it a overpass or underpass or do I have to stop looks like I have to stop See if the train's by by the time I get there. Looks like it's a grainer, fully loaded grainer headed for the coast. A 
blooming trees on the side of the road there. pretty hard so brand new train cars here no graffiti on them yet I've never seen drains connect cars before so must be a newer company or just a company I haven't seen before let's listen to the train at the back end of it. Apparently I can't hit the throttle that quick. It's still doing its self checks. spring so much color all right so this roundabout I think is more than a 92 more than a 90 degrees as well so I may have to go all the way around we'll see how much room there is Every now and then there's a turn too tight for me to make on the first corner. Depending how much room the roundabout gives you, how much space they've built in. And if it is too tight, all you have to do is go all the way around the roundabout more than once. Once and a quarter and then you've got the trailer lined up better for the exit. Well, looking at the GPS, it's actually less than, less than 90, so it should be good.
looks like people drop their trailers here and maybe even park here. A lot of people, people uh, sleep over here overnight maybe. to this scale right now, I would just bypass it. Because to pull into this scale right now would be impeding traffic. We'll just let it idle along. need to go this slow over the scale but in the US you legally have to go this slow so all it takes is a couple of American drivers going this speed and then crawl through the scale in Canada you can go over it at 10 kilometers per hour which is what six six miles per hour so double the speed of the U.S. You can hear the air compressor kicking on. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I could...
thinking we're not going to fuel up until Princeton. Well, these fuel tanks are quite a bit faster than the Princeton one, and the Princeton one's hard to get into. You know what? We'll fuel up here just for the sake of accessibility. is we pull in, fuel up, pull forward like the truck is here right in front of me, pull forward, park there, walk into the store, use the restroom, buy whatever we need to buy, and then head out. Because uh, fueling up takes 15 to 20 minutes, so you got a few minutes to go into the, into the store to go get whatever you need. Well guys, we've made it to trail. Home sweet home. Gotta go fill up my paperwork. Oh. I've already bent my plate. My plate is so close to the ground that I already bent it. That's kind of funny. But there's my six pickups. Parts of it are tarped, parts of it are not tarped. So the very back has got like some kind of masonry meshing rolls and then over here we've got aluminum plates that are going to go to rebuild some of the Sutco um, chip trailers that gets done in Salmo. At summit and of course here in this corner we've got some doors that get delivered where I am right now so just basically let's get closer that section right there just on this side gets delivered at this first location everything else gets delivered in other places on the other side of the tarp and the front part of the tarp here um, is uh, concrete bags and stuff which gets delivered just down the road another hardware store 
And then I've got a big mechanical. It's like a boxing brake machine. It's for cutting metal, cheap metal. And then on the other side is lumber wrap. And I've got one chain over the front because it's a big heavy metal brake machine up front here and I didn't want that to break loose. I've got one chain just holding it back. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs ups, and of course to you guys that are YouTube members and Patreon supporters, thank you. I shot one more bonus video today, me listening to a different podcast. We'll see what else I do during the week. Um, the rest of the week should be interesting. They're thinking maybe a Montana trip, but I don't like that idea because I wouldn't get home for the weekend for that. Or maybe another Vancouver trip. So we'll find out tomorrow after this is all unloaded. And then uh, we'll keep rolling. Thank you for watching. You guys rock. Fade to black.